Hello, uh, I'm M.K. Davis. Uh, what you're looking at here is a clip from the famous Patterson Bigfoot footage shot in Northern California in 1967. Uh, I've examined this film, you know, uh, extensively over the last uh, 14 years. And uh, some of the things I've found, you know, uh, uh, have convinced me that it's it, what I'm looking at is most likely uh, uh, is a living, you know, breathing thing. Uh, one of the things that that has me convinced is some of the lifelike motions that you see, you know, uh, uh, for instance, the swinging of the arm and the stretching of the skin here under the armpit. But another thing that convinces me is uh, like the rotation of the neck right there. Uh, it's inconsistent with a helmet, uh, which is what uh, some of the people who claim to have been the man in the suit uh, they said that they wore uh, was a helmet under there. So, um, you know, I know uh, many times in, in the past, uh, uh, different ones have uh, uh, made the statement that it has no neck and that it has, uh, it turns and rotates its entire shoulder toward the camera. Uh, and it does that. It, it does that initially. Uh, if you watch, watch it play along here as it repeats. Watch it turn its entire shoulder right here. But then watch it turn the other way. When it turns the other way, it's an entirely different motion uh, uh, altogether. Uh, let's just, uh, let me stop this one right here and go to another uh, file. Okay, now watch this. This is an oscillating file, and it takes that second motion. You know, initially it rotates its shoulders toward the camera and then when it looks back it doesn't rotate the shoulders it rotates the neck and this will oscillate that part of the the film back and forth and you can see the rotation of the neck a little easier let me start it for you So there you see, you know, that the, there, there, it's not void, void of a neck. Uh, no, it's got a neck. Uh, if you look, it, it rotates it quite easily. It's not that much uh, difference in the rotation ability of yours and my neck. Uh, or or may, maybe, maybe somewhat, you know, less, but not, not a lot of difference. Also, you might also notice that it has a rather flat face. Look at the profile as it rotates the neck around. You know, you got to take this film as a whole rather than as... And if you look at... You can pick out frames here and there that, you know, that got stretched and skewed by the, you know, the jarring motion of the camera uh, and a slow shutter speed. But when you take it as an overall cinematic piece, you can kind of tell what you're looking at. And, and the, the face is rather flat. There's a part right there in the hair where the ear is. And then there's hair that runs down. Oh, excuse me. I'll have to undo that as soon as it runs. I accidentally clicked the mouse. Okay, technical difficulty there. Let me go back to where I was. There we go. Start it again. You'll see that there's hair, or a thin, or a rather thin, light and thin hair, coming off the top of the head, curling around behind the ear and down the neck, right there along the jawline. Uh, it's it's not an easily visible thing. But number one, because you have uh, such a you know a violent film, you know where the, the camera shakes so badly. But uh, but number two, it's also rather low contrast, and you know this is a pretty good image, but it's still rather low contrast. So what we'll do is we'll go to another file where the contrast has been boosted. Let me do that now. And it's also been slowed down. You can see coming off the top of the head, right around the jawline, a continuous stream of hair. You got a little part right there where the ear is. And I've got some more files that show the ear, which I'll tack on to the end of the video. 
uh, these these are the kinds of details that have convinced me. You know that I'm probably looking at a living subject rather than you know a suit or or uh, some kind of a contrived uh, a helmet. Now let me go to another file that kind of blows everything up. You know a little larger around the head area. And although it's low contrast, I mean you can still see that there's a you know clear neck movement, and you can see right there there's a part where the ear is and the hair, the head hair hangs down behind the jaw. When she looks back at the camera, it's kind of tucked behind the jaw. When she looks back, you can see it continuously running down this way. There's a sheen on the hair. You can follow the sun. See right here. Watch it go down and up, down and up, down and up as she turns her head back and forth. Uh, it's reflecting sunlight. It's 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 in, like I, I don't know whether it's oily or I, or whether it's just a natural uh, reflectivity of the hair, but it's it has a sheen to it. See the swing of the natural swing of the arm, the rotation of the shoulder. You can see the stretch of the skin. Skin can be seen beneath the hair. The, the hair is not all encompassing. It's it's just a hair over, but not 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 furry by any stretch. You can see the color of the skin right through here. It's, it's kind of light colored. All up in here where she's rubbed it off. Flat face. You can see the nostrils if you look close. Matter of fact, I'll just uh, click down one frame at a time. Well, there it is. It stopped right there. Right there. See right there? Now follow it. I'll just go back here. There's that continuous stream of hair right through here. Let's run it again. So, uh, it, it's not that it doesn't have a neck, it does have a neck. Uh, now, this, it's a very robustly built uh, subject. So, uh, um, you know, there are people like that, you know, that are built heavily in that area. And, and it's not that they don't have a neck, they certainly do. They can turn it. But, uh, you know, so in, in, a, in a chance encounter for one of these, these beings, whatever they are, whatever you may think they are, um, you know, it's almost sensory overload. You uh, you can't hardly take in everything you're seeing in in in, in the few seconds that you have. Uh, we can be grateful that there was film taken, and and now the technology exists for stabilization and things like that. That give us an opportunity to it's kind of a keyhole peek into uh, their world, uh, where whatever their world is like. Uh, we have a single individual that we can judge some things by, although we don't know that all individuals are going to be exactly like this. Um, it's just a guess. I thank you.